Olivia actually found me on a house and home uh, YouTube videos. She was searching for a designer to be part of the build process. So this is a full circle moment to be filming her home uh, in the beaches now. I always dreamed to work with a designer. And when I was watching one of Orsi's videos, I don't know, something, I connect with her, my husband too, and uh, it was amazing. We had a really fun process with Olivia. We worked together on developing the concept for this new home. Olivia is a renowned food blogger, so the kitchen of this home was a very important feature for her. So some of the must-haves were that she wanted a light and bright kitchen. I make my recipes and I take photos of my recipes, so it was very important to have big windows and open kitchen, bright. And she wanted to make sure that there were no reflective surfaces. I think it's really important for photography to have flat, matte surfaces so there's no reflection. In Brazil, we use a lot of natural stone, like granite, marble. And for me, marble gets better when it's older. When it has all the marks, it's like signs of living, right? It's a story to tell. So I'm not afraid of marble and it was on the top of my list for sure. We went with a marble that has a leathered finish on it as the countertop, which is just a beautiful finish. We also wanted lots of texture, which came across with the three-dimensional marble backsplash tiles, a beautiful backdrop for her photos. White kitchens are classic and timeless, but we wanted to bring in some interest and some added elements were the fluted end gables for the island, as well as the mixed metals. So we went with beautiful brass knobs and handles on the cabinetry, and then we mixed it up and did black hardware on the oak island. So the reeded side gable detail on the island was important. It is in the sight line as you walk into the house and walk through the main floor. So we wanted this to be a pretty element, something that you notice as you walk through the space. So this beautiful reeded detail just did that. I used to say to my husband, I don't need a walk-in closet, but I do need lots of kitchen cabinets because I have a lot of kitchen stuff and um, it's my work, right? Designing the kitchen with lots of storage was key. Olivia has lots of beautiful cutting boards and pots and pans that we wanted to make sure that everything has its place. She also has a vast collection of small appliances, so we wanted to make sure that there is deep cabinetry and drawers for those to tuck away. There is a beautiful armoire-like cabinet with bifold doors, which houses some of her equipment and beautiful collection of pottery. My work's easier because now I can find things very easily. I have a lovely spice drawer that is amazing, especially because before I didn't know which spices I had. So I was buying lots of spices that I already had. And now I have everything very organized there. The shape of the hood was something that we debated over and we landed on this curved hood that is just a sexy element for this beautiful kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of my home for sure. We eat here, I prep and cook, I take photos here. We have my husband's family over and they all was around the island. Everybody comes straight to the kitchen. When they arrive here, talking, cooking, drinking, all here. I think the dining room is one of my favorite spaces in this home. The chairs are just spectacular. They're beautiful, sculptural, and bring in a modern element. They are around a beautiful pedestal custom table that we designed in the white oak finish. This was one of Olivia's must-haves. She wanted a dining table that was round so her family and friends could sit around it and have wonderful dinner parties and great conversations. We have a spacious and open living room with a beautiful gallery wall, which showcases her beautiful collection of art. And she has a really comfortable sofa and chairs that create a wonderful conversational setting in the living room. We've sourced fabrics and uh, finishes that were child-friendly and family-friendly because she just loves to entertain. There's also a coastal reference to all the finishes that we chose. There's rattan and wicker finishes, and we introduced the white oak finish in the coffee table, which again references that beaches vibe that we were after. 
So when we entered the home, we have a small foyer and we managed to squeeze in a powder room at the top of the staircase. This was a must have. Olivia really wanted to have a main floor powder room and we made sure that we found the square footage for that. For the principal bedroom, we just wanted to create a cozy cocoon. We have a custom bed with, again, channeling detail, which is a repeated element throughout the house. And we have rattan night tables that are just the perfect scale for this kind of small principal bedroom. It's just like a lovely hug when you walk into that space at the end of the day. I love how the principal bathroom turned out. Olivia was bold enough to go with marble for the floor, which not too many people are willing to take that risk. And it most certainly paid off. And we did subway tiles on all the walls in the bathroom. So it is just a magnificent space. During this process, Olivia and I spent lots of time together virtually and in person on site and definitely a friendship blossomed. And I am so grateful to have been part of this building process with her. I always say to my husband that Orsi was the best in this whole process. Renovation or building a house, it's not easy and it can be very stressful. Working with Orsi was great because I didn't worry as much. It was much easier to have her on my side. Is this all true? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs>